Hey guys, guess what? Holy technical problems, BSG! It was the worst thing ever! <sighs> OBS Studio, why you gotta bust our balls like that? Only with this one game, too. It's only with freaking Don Gone 1. Well, anyway, we don't need to go on for a billion years about this, but basically what happened was the video was corrupted, but the audio was fine. Well, we thought the audio was really good. So just to try this once. I have started over school mode from the beginning and tried to time up the free time events with the audio. You all better appreciate this, cause oh my god. So remember, send all complaints to your freaking face! This is the best we can do! <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I hate the Mono Mono machine because it takes 10 years. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I think it's great. I got time to get up, make a cup of tea, maybe. Just drink it down while I wait for the freaking capsule to open. Just what we all wanted. The time to leave and do something else. Fortunately, the second game just lets you skip past it. I know, it's so great. That is the biggest quality of life improvement. And who cares? We're the bittersweet gamers. I care we're the bittersweet gamers. I'm we squared. Well, I'm the opinionator. Don't phrase it like that, man. I... The thing that I don't care about is... It's the Mono Mono machine, isn't it? It's just filling you with despair. He just killed me. He, he, he decided to take my joke. And I was like... <laughs> and har, stab har, you in the heart with it. <laughs> yeah, now I'm gone. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Anytime, man. Now, we do not know whose event we're doing. I mean, you probably do because it was in the title and the thumbnail, but we don't yet. You're gonna watch us make this decision. Behold, rolls.org. That was a free advertisement. There you go, let's roll. <laughs> I did in fact see what you are doing there. So here's how we're gonna do it. We've already gotten Byakuya and we can't hang out with ourselves. Or Junko. I mean, we can, but we can't. R it's Mukuro, right, right, not right. Junko. So we've only got 13 people left. So we're just going to roll and just go down the student ID list. Skipping yeah. the ones we've already finished or that are ineligible. So right, right. Let's find out what you already know. Two. So we're just going to have to figure out who that is. Well, you don't count. One. You also don't count. Two. The second student on the report card. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Why are you so freaking obsessed with Sesame Street? Oh my god! The surprise winner is Mondo, though it was gonna be a surprise, no matter who it was. We are going to go through everybody, by the way. Right, right. Just reinforcing that. Just so no one gets worried. So, uh, uh, going on the whole voice actor bit, mm -hmm. I, I don't know this guy's name off the top of my head either. Uh, it's the guy who voices Zoro in One Piece. I thought that's what he sounded like, yeah. And I've liked him ever since the very first role I heard him in, which was actually in Gundam X. Oh, nice. Wasn't he, uh, Jameel Neat? No, he was Wits. Wits. The pilot of Gundam Air Master. Oh. Anyway, he's got this really interesting quality to his voice, so I've always liked him a whole lot. I mean, it's really recognizable. Hmm? You're kind of weird, you know that? You ain't afraid of me, all wanting to hang out, even after I punched you in that other timeline. Well, whatever. You want to go get something to drink? I really liked his first event. Yeah. yeah Do you remember it's... what it was? Uh, He was just talking about bikes. Yeah, he was just talking about motorcycles and, like, taking you for a trip. Yeah, see, that was the thing. And Makoto was... was like, I'm scared I'll fall off. The thing, the thing that was interesting was in that very first one, that very first event, uh, two of the characters were focused on... Okay, no, maybe three... Anyway, some of the characters were focused on themselves, and some of the characters were actually focused on Makoto. Yeah! And what was interesting about that group, I know that, I know off the top of my head that Kiyotaka and Mukuro yeah. and Mondo were like that. So yeah, that, that yeah. actually gave me like a really strong initial impression of the two that we did early, which was Mukuro and Mondo. Yeah, I like how she was just like, I'll find one of my more aggressive girlfriends for you, and it's just like, oh god. <laughs> what, what about this one? Let's do it! Huh? huh? I can have this. Just be really careful. You may not be able to take it off until you built up enormous self-control. And I'm just saying, you haven't really demonstrated that. Ah, I don't. Uh, thanks, man. Ah, damn it, bastard. Damn it, bastard, son of a bitch. That was a very creative way of cursing there. 
That's like saying, God damn. God damn. <laughs> 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 what? What's wrong? Why, why are you so mad? Ah! Why am I mad? Why am I mad? Can't you see why I'm mad? I can't see why you're mad, but I can see that you're mad. I need to get out of here. I need to get out and run wild. I'm so pissed off right now. Shit. I agree, but I know how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Okay? Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, how about we have a one-on-one? -on -one? I'm all for some friendly competition, sir. I definitely enjoy it and the bonding potential that it carries. But a one-on-one -on -one between you and me <laughs> is going to end with me as a lump of Makoto meat on the floor. Into the sauna with you. What? I'm not going to say that. I already said it before. Relax. It's just a bare knuckle brawl. No weapons. What do you say? I don't <laughs> want to die. Didn't you hear me? A bare knuckle brawl. Bare knuckle brawl. I do like Streets of Rage now that you mention it. <laughs> the the uh, uh, bare knuckle is the original title. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I like playing it too. We really like Streets of Rage. We've played a lot of it together. I'm going to die, <laughs> so let me try and distract him. Maybe if I throw a chunk of meat somewhere. <laughs> One punch knockout, because that's what's going to happen. You're talking about a hand-to-hand -hand fight, right? I mean, what else would you be talking about? Streets of Rage? Hell yeah! Hand-to-hand, -hand. knuckle to knuckle. My fist against your face. Hold on! Friends can't fight each other! How cruel! What? Where'd this robot rabbit come from? But that's the only way I could burn off all this energy is to use you as my punching bag. Why can't you do this with Sakura? I've never even been in a fight before! I don't want her to think I'm flirting with her. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should go flirt with her, Mondo. It could do you some good. Huh? I mean, you can spar with her, right? You don't have to actually fight, but just train. She, she might knock some sense into you. D don't be a fucking idiot. I can't hit a girl. Well, that's so. And she's a girl, right? It ruined my honor. My mom would kill me. I think you might have other things to worry about on this front, but... I'm serious! I can't hit girls! It's not like I'm scared of her or anything, you bastard! I, Man, I, if we'd gotten this a uh, little earlier, huh? Well, all it would really have told us is that Kihito was a boy. I know, I know, but it would have been interesting, don't you think? Oh, okay, okay, okay! I understand that you, Mondo, are <laughs> not going to hit girls! Shouting's in my blood, asshole! When I get stressed out, I yell! Shit! Crap! Fuck! Shit! Avril Lavigne! <laughs> Sounds like he must be really stressed out, though I believe him. It's just a nervous habit. What's the big deal? Other than the fact that it makes it hard to ask girls out. <laughs> <laughs> I get all nervous and I start yelling, so I always get rejected. Well, you'll get better at that. And that makes me more nervous. And that makes me yell more, so I get more rejected. It's a vicious cycle, like a motorcycle. You really need to go hang out with Sakura, all right? And thanks to that, I'm on a 10-game losing streak right now. It really sucks. 10-game? That's pretty bad. What'd you say? Shit. And I'd forgotten about that, too. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, this is not my fault! <laughs> it isn't my fault! How are you gonna make it up to me, shit stay? By punching you in the nuts and running away! Yeah, <laughs> uh, not getting all depressed. I'm out of here. Go hang out with Sakura! Well... I guess we got closer. <laughs> I didn't get to see a side of Mondo I had no idea existed, though. But I'm not surprised to see. It was almost... I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> I don't... I'll murder you if I hear you think it, too! Man, it sure is convenient everyone's standing in the exact, exact same spot all the time. It just makes it really easy to do this. Let's use a trip ticket on Mondo. Stab! Stab! Ah! Stab! Ah! Ah! The Black Inn!
Why are we in this room? <laughs> well, I thought you could talk to that statue of the armless lady who's naked. Oh, practice, I see. Uh, shit, man. Normally I don't hang out with guys this much. Know what I mean? I think you're freaking lying. I think you only hang out with guys because I think you told me what happens when you hang out with girls. I only have time to spend with guys. I don't spend much time with girls. That's what I said, isn't it? I notice you're yelling there. It's the nervous habit, uh, uh psychological, uh, in my jeans, something. I got something in my jeans. Oh, damn it, this is falling apart. But I got some time <laughs> to kill, so whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't have your motorcycle, but these will help you move around real quick. Eh? Apparently, he really likes this, and we have five of them, so... Damn, seriously? This thing is, like, super rare, You want to look like clown shoes. You want to know when we got clown shoes? Come at me, clown shoes! You want to know, it's super rare, but 100% of the ones we got, we got when we were doing the Mono Mono machine before we were doing this. Yeah, yeah. We got all of them then. Don't mind if I do! Damn, I'm lucky as shit. So you just need to run around Hope's Peak with these roller slippers. Hey, Makoto. You're not going to yell at me this time, are you? Listen, there's something I got to ask you. What is it? You sound really serious. I always sound serious. Just shut up and listen. So, are you a dog person or a cat person? Cat. Just tell me before I beat the shit out of cat you. Cat person! I'm a dog person, by the way, so what are you? Come on, tell me. Am I a dog person or a cat person? Well, Mondo's a dog person, so... You're a bear person. Should we pick cat? I think the correct answer is dog. I guess the correct answer is dog, but I I don't know. Well, the question is, is do we be honest with Mondo? No, I guess there's not actually a very good track record of, of people being honest to Mondo. It doesn't seem to turn out so well. So, so let's, let's just do what he wants and say dog. Yeah, well, so is what he did. That was also messed up. Also true. I, I'm kind of a dog person, too. You believe me, right? Especially when my nervous habit. <laughs> huh? Really? You're not just saying that, right? I like dogs. Woof, 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 woof. Actually, I grew up with a dog in the house. It was a mutt, but it was still pretty cute. Right? Cats are okay, but dogs are way cuter. I'll kill you. So, how old is your dog? Oh, uh... Well, we, we had it when I was a kid. It, it, it's dead now. Uh, oh, uh, I know how that feels, man. It's tough to lose a dog you love so much. And inevitable. I totally know how you feel. So you used to have a dog too, which only makes sense if you're a dog person. Though, I've been a cat person my entire life and only a few years ago got my first cat. It's weird how life works sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, Chuck. A Maltese. He died when he was nine. Nine? Huh? That's maybe slightly young. A Maltese? I figured Mondo would be more of a pit bull guy or a oh, Doberman, yeah. but... He was so smart, man. He'd bring in the newspaper every morning. I bet... Can you even... Can you even get a pit bull in Japan? Oh. Uh -huh. Wow, that's really cool. Right? And then he begged me to take him for a walk. He'd look up at me with those eyes of his and wiggle that little butt. I was about to make make some sort of a joke about Shihiro here, Ooh. but then there's this line. Y yeah. So I'm just not going to say anything. Gah, I don't want to remember this shit. Ugh, this seriously sucks. Every maybe, time I talk to you, I get depressed. Maybe, maybe what you should have done was remember it. You know, don't. It's, it's like this is this is Mondo. This is showing that Mondo is the sort of person who turns away from his own trauma. Yeah. Well, nope. that, that was kind of the whole thing, yeah? <laughs> okay, but this is like the foreshadowing of the turning away from your own trauma. Yeah. If if you would have accepted that sort of stuff, you, you know? You gotta face the things in your life that you hate. You, I, I just mean, like, you know, every last one of us has done a bunch of things that we, that we regret or think was really a stupid decision mm -hmm. or has things that we felt so bad we just don't want to think about those mm -hmm. anymore. But you really, and I know this sounds cliche, but... You really can't move on with your life until you've Face dealt them. with all this stuff. Yeah. So it's like if something like that comes up, you need to process it or you'll end up like what happened to him. 
Don't look at me right now. Stabbing people in the back who care about you. Betraying the betraying your own principles and your yeah. own honor, the things that you actually cared about. Because because he was too weak to face himself. He just gave in. And ended up doing doing stuff that he hates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, God damn it. I gotta go. Ah, Chuck, my baby boy. <laughs> That's... <laughs> you weedy. I had no idea he loved dogs that much, or at least his own dog. Wow, how crazy! <sighs> My gosh. I feel like I've learned a little bit about this guy today. You know, there... One one of the one experience that made a huge impact on my life. Or okay, no 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 no. Let me, let me rephrase that to be accurate. One experience I had that I will never forget. I was a freshman in high school. School had just it, like the the bell had rung. School was out, and I was walking to the door. And there there was a teacher in front of me, along with some other kid that I didn't know. And she, the teacher turned to the kid and said. What's wrong with you today? You look like your dog died or something. And the kid looked up and said he did. <laughs> and I'll never forget that. Wow. They did, neither of them said anything else. <laughs> so what I, do you say after that? It's just like, oh. So uh, I, I suppose it wasn't a joke. I guess not. And then the next day he was like, my dog ate my homework. Don't you feel bad for me? <laughs> That would be the perfect time, the only time you could use that excuse successfully, right? But then the teacher would have been like, No! You're wrong! You just told me yesterday your dog died! The ghost of my dog ate my homework! It, what are we talking about? The thing is, is that sounds like something from a comedy routine, but it was serious. real. I'm yeah, totally serious. That's why I'm never gonna forget this. Reality is stranger than fiction, dude. Obviously it is. All right, buddy. Here we go. Here, have another one of these super rare items that I've got like a freaking backpack full of. Well, you'll like this one just as much. Now you've got two pairs for when one of them is being cleaned or breaks a wheel. Oh. Hey, Magoto, could you come with me for a second? Stuff them into the washing machine. <laughs> no, don't give me a swirly. My room. I want to talk to you. I didn't ask you where we were going, though, so why did you just say my room? Shut up. Your room? Now I said your room. Just come with me. Fine! I'm so confused at this point! <laughs> Heaven's great crazy diamond! Uh, listen, can I talk to you about something important? I figured this would be the last one. Brass knuckles on the table and hair gel and hairspray. Well, you got, the... I mean, that's a lot of work, so that yeah, makes yeah. sense. What a nice detail. I, I, that was what I kind of missed, was we only got to see inside a few people's rooms. Yeah, I agree. Important, huh? And this music is playing. Uh, yeah. It's kind of cheesy, but that's not... why I thought of you. There isn't really anyone else here I could talk to about this kind of stuff without ruining my image. But your opinion doesn't matter. I can't show weakness in front of my classmates, and I've never had a friend on the same level as me. Hmm. So, do you mind? Yeah, I mean, if you're okay talking to me. So Listen. Do you like being a high schooler? Uh, well, uh, sure, it's fun, but why are you asking that out of the blue like this? I like it too, you know. I like screwing around with my friends and stuff. Whenever I get to go out and run wild with my crazy diamond crew, it's such a goddamn rush. I mean, sure, there was a shit ton of pressure to build up the gang and everything, but still, getting to hang with them was the fucking best, man. I've been thinking a lot lately. Yeah? What's going to happen when I'm done with high school? Everyone in the Crazy Diamonds is going to graduate, assuming they get good grades. I gave everything to them. What do I do then? Hmm. And I'm not smart like the rest of you. I wonder what it is about Mondo. He's scared of being alone? That made him so fearful. Well, the thing with his brother. I mean, he's afraid of change. He's, he's, uh, I mean, the... The thing with his brother makes him pretty dang terrified. Especially because he blames himself. And that's the that's the thing. Uh, he, I still say that 
he's he shouldn't have blamed himself for that. Right, right. I understand why he would, but that doesn't mean that he it doesn't mean that he should. Or that he that And he I'll tell you right, what, if you know? you're, if you're being and if you're being miserable on some uh, supposedly on somebody else's behalf, what is their feeling on the matter? What did Daya think? Daya <laughs> Daya <laughs> Sorry. What are you always choking on? <laughs> no, no, no. See, that's what Daya was thinking. When Daya died, he was leaving everything to Mondo and did not blame him, express any displeasure. Of course not. And what he, he was chose to do what he did for Mondo. And did not regret it. Yeah. He was accepting Mondo's challenge. Mm -hmm. And accepting his feelings. Yeah. And for not for always running away from that, Mondo's the one who's in the wrong. Yeah. And if he had not done that, not the challenge, but the... The blaming himself. Then things would have turned out differently. And when I say is in Mondo was in the wrong, you know, this is one of the, this is one of the things that's most contentious uh, as far as uh, I'd say our own reputation goes. <laughs> um, you know... Just because I'm criticizing Mondo's decision here and saying he was wrong for doing it doesn't mean that I don't like Mondo. That was in, one in of the fact, reasons we were so upset yeah, by the whole deal. That's why we got ticked and you know at something? him. And you know something? So Billy's my best friend, right? You know what? Are you about to kill me? No. Okay. He's been wrong about things. Oh, yeah. He has made horrible mistakes in his life. Mm -hmm. I have too. You can call something wrong without hating everything about it. Yeah. Two things can be true at once, and people can have multiple feelings about one thing at once. But I'm I'm never going to not feel... Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. never going to say that it was okay. Never going to justify something that was wrong. Yeah. Understand? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't approve of what happened with Mondo, but... Un we can understand. You can understand and you can sympathize, but the thing is, is all you're doing is coddling somebody if you if you try or enabling them mm -hmm. if you just accept their bad behavior. I mean, it's one thing if you don't have a the responsibility right, for right, somebody, right. but anyway, nah, that's enough. College, not a chance. So I got to get a job, right? I feel like maybe I've already done whatever I'm going to do in life. Maybe I've maxed out. He is an ultimate, after all. It's like I'm empty now. I don't know. I can't figure out how to say it. The point is, that's how big a part of my life the crazy diamonds have been. Yeah, yeah, it's like, so let's just take a look at your resume here. Uh, I see you were the ultimate biker gang leader. I don't think we have a spot for you at our company, you know? Well, well he'd never work out in something like that anyway. Right, right. Get a uh, job you, at a bike shop, maybe, mechanic shop. It sure must be nice for everybody who graduates high school and instantly knows exactly what they're going to do in life, has their, pl has their path all planned out for them in a way they like, and conveniently they never have to think about their own meaning, right? All two of those people in the whole world. <laughs> it must be nice. There's nothing unusual about, about what Mondo is feeling, but it's like, doesn't this place guarantee success? Isn't that supposed to be its big selling point? Yeah, you're right. Should we even be worried about this at all? This is just kind of indicative of how deep his problem is. He just He's just poor at confronting things. Very poor at confronting himself. So when I think about not having that around anymore, I get scared. Maybe that's why I came here in the first place. To run away, just like all those commentators were talking about. To run away from the fear. Mondo. And maybe this is my punishment for everything up till now. Maybe I'm being punished for just doing whatever I felt like all my life. Hmm. He's you know, blaming he, himself for the murder games? No, he's specifically talking about his brother. Ah, 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 I see. I don't think that's what this is. I think you're lucky to have something you're so passionate about. Being able to get into something that much? I'm sure that'll be useful later on in life. And I agree with Makoto right there. Yeah. Shit, Makoto, you make me want to misread that line entirely. You want me to put on a suit or some shit? No, see, that's the problem. It's this type of an attitude. I understand that's a very Japanese thing, but I mean, something similar to that is all over the place. No, you don't. Why would Mondo need to put on a suit? I think it would be kind of awesome 
to be like, ah, oh, it's the leader of the crazy diamonds. Mondo rolls up in like a suit and tie with like a p pocket protector and glasses. Oh, well, that would be that, that would, would be, be different. But that's more that's like not a Japanese delinquent thing. That's more of like a hip hop persona thing. Well, no, no I understand that. But, but like, why can't he just be a bike mechanic? Yeah, like yeah, like I said, just join a bike shop or something. The people who go there are gonna be people who he relates with. Yeah, it's gonna be great for him. And what is that not high status enough for you? I mean. Crap, he could probably, like, open a bike shop with his friends, with the gang. With the people who also... How many of the crazy diamonds are in the same boat as Mondo and they don't know what else they're doing? There's certainly a lot of them. And why, why, why not? Is there something wrong with, with like, working in, as, as, like, a bike mechanic? Is there something wrong with it? Something wrong with people who love bikes working on bikes? But... <sighs> maybe you're right. I mean, that's just a, that's a, a sort of societal, cultural anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like, pressures, cultural pressures. Maybe having as much fun as I did means I'll be able to dedicate myself to working hard from now on. You know, when I think about it, maybe it won't be all that bad. Maybe I'm even starting to look forward to the idea of working. Uh, just a little. See what it's like? See what you get by confronting things you don't want to think about? So what kind of job would you want to get? Oh, I want to be a carpenter for sure. Oh, okay. See, he even didn't even have to hesitate. He already knew. I want to work in a mine. That explains so much. <laughs> I figure I've done such a good job of busting shit apart. I'd probably be good at building it too. Great! I like that. I like that sort of that sort of uh, philosophy. It's like, well, I know how to take things apart, so that's the easy part. And I'll putting them together is the hard part. And I'll tell you what, man, don't look down on blue collar workers. Yeah. Retail employees. Just watch. I'm gonna become the best carpenter you've ever seen. All the customers will be drawn to my intense stare and certainly not run away screaming. Well, it's you, so I'm sure you can do it. Of course, that means we so, gotta get out of here first. Well, as long as we work hard and don't give up. Yeah, you're right. As long as we don't give up. I heard you the first time. I'm glad I got to talk to Mondo like this. I feel like I've come to understand him a lot better. Okay, there's like some wooden swords in the back leaning that against the wall. That makes sense. A very, a very delinquenty thing to do. And he's got like some, I guess, biker magazines on his bed. Yeah, I can't tell what those are. You might be right. I think we've finally become friends in the truest sense of the word, so I don't have to hang out with him anymore. I think it's interesting that we have another ultimate who wants to be something else. Although his seems a bit more... No, reasonable I... and rational than Leon's. Leon's just like, I don't really care about being the ultimate baseball star or whatever. You know, I, I understand what you mean. It's like, How Mondo many... appears to be growing up, uh, looking past his current situation. I wonder, growing up a little, planning I for the future. if there's anybody in Danganronpa 2 like that. I mean, aside from Teru Teru. But again, as of this moment of us recording, we are just a little ways into chapter 2. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. One other thing that I thought of about Mondo... It's sort of interesting, to me at least, he kind of symbolizes regret. You know, it was kind of like the big the big betrayal and uh, the, the moment of real tragedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and so going through his events, it's just like any time I think of the guy, all I think of is... The betrayal? All I feel is regret, regret. that things turned regret. out the way that they did. I mean, our first read on him was like, he's a pretty okay guy, if a little violent prone. He, in the very beginning, he was, he, he was like my favorite character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, anytime, pretty much probably forever, when I think about him, it'll just be regret. It's interesting how games can have that sort of an effect on you, you know? That's part of why I love video games. Yeah. 